God has appointed things and appointed times for all of us. And I think it would be a mistake to think that my experience is going to be much different than Saul's. Because the sorts of things that God has in store for us, the things that he has set apart, the things that he has appointed times and appointed things for you and me are so good and so other than what we're considering. Like I was going to get some milk from the grocery store and now I'm eating a lamb of leg with a prophet in the lamb. You know, like that, or prophet in the land. That's, that's what is happening here. He's like, me? Now? What? So if you have ever had that thought, me, now, what? You're in good company. Verse 25. When they came down from the high place into the city, Samuel spoke with Saul on the roof. And they arose early and it came about at daybreak that Samuel called to Saul on the roof saying, get up that I might send you away. So Saul arose, both he and Samuel, and went out into the street. And as they were going down to the edge of the city, Samuel said to Saul, Say to the servant that he might go ahead of us and pass on, but you remain standing now that I proclaim the word of God to you. Okay, now I like to have a little bit of fun when I read my Bible. I don't know about you. Um, but what happens next, again, seems like a very like sudden, sort of awkward, not very well planned out event that happens. And I just want you to imagine that you are Saul and you're talking to this prophet and he's like, I have a word of God, a word from God for you. You know me else around? And then this is what happens. Chapter 10. Then Samuel took the flask of oil and poured it on his head and kissed him and said, has not the Lord anointed you a ruler over his inheritance? So imagine you're walking with the prophet and you kind of notice he's like hiding something behind his back. And what, what, what do you got there, Samuel? Oh, nothing. It's cool. Let's just talk over here alone. Come, come. Blum, 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 just pouring oil all over, all over Saul. Just, would you be shocked? Would you dodge a little bit? Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you pouring on top of me? I mean, Saul, of course, would know that, 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 that anointing with oil has great significance. Um, and the tradition back in those days was not kind of what we do these days, which is take a little bit of like a little dab of oil and, you know, you can wash off easily so you don't like break out all over your face or something. But back in those days, they would take a whole thing of oil and they would just pour it all over you. So it would go all over your arms and your legs and everything. And I'm thinking, well, I mean, that's, you know, that's really great and that's really significant. But now he has to have a whole conversation with Samuel soaked in oil. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> so he's like receiving like, oh, and you're going to be king. So he's like receiving like instruction about how he's going to be king. And like I'm soaked in oil. Like I'm still not sure where the donkeys are. Like... <laughs> 